In this video, we're going to have a look at how you can grade a written assignment. I'm going to start from the activity stream here because what you can see here under today is that a new submission is ready to grade. So this is just an example of how the activity stream is very helpful and you can click there and go straight to the grade book uh, in order to grade it. I'll also show you how you can get through from the course. Here I can see the little notification symbol here to tell me that there are some new submissions since I last logged in. So I can click on here and on the top right we have one submission. Click there and it takes me to the same place into Gradebook. So here there is an originality report. It's showing me here medium risk, which is probably one that I want to review. So here we have one submission. I can click on the name here it's going to come up with this particular submission. And just like the student preview mode, uh, we can see here, uh, embedded here, we can see the submission. You can put feedback directly in here. If you had attached a rubric, that would be one of the options here. This is shown in more detail in another video. And on the embedded version here, you can select text and you can add a comment to it. You can also use the content library, which is a place where you can keep standard comments that you have to use again and again. And this is a helpful way to be able to have more detail in your comments without creating more work for yourself if you find that students are having or making common, common mistakes. So you can click plus there and you can write in a bit of detailed feedback like that and then you can click on the three dots and you can place comment and you can put that where you want to put it and click save. So this is a really handy feature uh, that allows you to give better feedback to your students and also save you time. There's a little notification here saying that the formatting may have changed a bit due to the embedded version but you can download the original format there if you want to read it in Word. Up on the top right, we have the originality report and you can click in that. You can see uh, an overview here that this is medium risk, 22%. So that's probably one you would want to review. And you can click at the bottom to see the originality reports. And you can watch the video that shows creating the assignment and that shows you how the originality reports work. Once you have finished giving feedback on the in-text editor and also the overall feedback that you can give in the right-hand column here, you will be assigning it a grade. This one was set up to be out of 100, so I'm going to give that there 60 out of 100. And I'm going to close this. And we will see here that this one has been graded. Uh, but you can see here that uh, there's a post button and there's also a post all grades button up here. And so what that means is that students are not going to see any of these grades until you actually post them. So uh, this is a, a helpful feature that means you can be working on the grading, both yourself and your colleagues, and you don't need to actually make them available to students until they've gone through all of the relevant quality assurance processes. You may find it helpful to also look at the video on Gradebook that shows some more advanced features in terms of managing grades in Blackboard. 